On this day, Nablus is once again plunged into mourning and anger. This large city in the north of the West Bank is awaiting the return of three bodies of Palestinian fighters killed while attacking Israeli soldiers two months ago. In the silent crowd, armed men stand out who have come to honor the three children of the country, barely 20 years old. Three heroes for these young people. The three fighters belonged to a new armed group founded here in Nablus in August 2022. The Lions Den. <laughs> عارين الأسود هي الفصيل الوعيد اللي قاتلت بس عشان ترفع سبيل كلمة لا إله إلا الله فوق إحنا إحنا لا بنتبع لأي فصيل لا حماس ولا فدع ولا جهاد ولا شبه إحنا بنقاتل بس لا إله إلا الله ترفع لفوق The Lions Den fighters are galvanizing the Palestinian youth. Connected to the armed group's propaganda via social media, Teenagers take up its slogans and threats. <laughs> the Lions Den fighters are the object of a veritable cult in Nablus. Their photos are plastered all over the walls of the old town, the movement's stronghold. There is even a small memorial dedicated to them, with portraits of the martyrs, their uniforms, and bottles of perfume bearing their likeness. <laughs> At the local hairdressers, young people have their beards trimmed in the style of the heroes of the lion's den. <laughs> منشان هاي الأمور لازم الكل يكون مع الجميع يعني يد واحدة تكون البلد منشان هذا الموضوع بزبطش نترك أولادنا من يتقتلوا أخوتنا يتقتلوا ونطلع عليهم بزبطش هذا الحكي لازم نكون نعمل خليات إحنا عشان نضلوا نخافوا يفوتوا هاي البلد The Lions Den has breathed new life into the fight against the Israeli presence in the West Bank the armed group is stepping up its attacks on IDF soldiers and residents of Jewish settlements, dragging in its wake other armed groups or isolated individuals. The roads in the region have once again become dangerous for the settlers. In particular, crossing Hawara on the outskirts of Nablus. <laughs> אנחנו כל הזמן, כל הזמן על הציר. אבל שם יש כל הזמן אירועים, כל הזמן זריקות אבנים. גם גיס שלי חטף שם אבנים, גם גיסתי חטפה שם אבנים. הוא נתן לערבי לחצות, הערבי ירה בו, ירה בו בשמשה, והוא היה מספיק מהיר בשביל לראות בו בחזרה. אבל, אבל זה אחרי הסיפור שלו, אני לא נותנת לאף אחד לחצות. אף אחד שמבקש, לא משנה, זקן או ילד, אני נוסעת. To secure Hawara, the Israeli army has deployed dozens of soldiers in the town. They patrol the streets and take up positions on rooftops, but they have failed to stop the attacks. They <laughs> בקלות על אדמה שחיכינו לה, של אבותינו שחיכינו לה אלפיים שנה, אנחנו לא אה, נוותר. אבל, אה, אבל בינתיים המחירים הם, הם אה, עצומים, כאילו. אמני, דחו, בונאו, עשר לדייך. In February, two young Israeli men, brothers aged 20 and 22, were killed by an armed Palestinian crossing Hawara. יושב בסתר יום, בצל שדיים תודה. 
The attack provoked immense emotion in Israel. Their funeral in the National Military Cemetery on Mount Herzl in Jerusalem was attended by several thousand people, including ministers, MPs, and the representative of the West Bank settlers. The two victims came from the heights of Nablus, home to hilltop youth, who attended the funerals in large numbers. Religious teenagers, fiercely nationalistic, sometimes violent. In reaction to the murder of their two brothers, hundreds of them led a punitive expedition against Hawara at the scene of the attack. They stormed the town, terrorizing the population and setting fire to dozens of cars and apartment blocks. One of the rioters justified the raid live. <laughs> Used to the attacks of the hilltop youth, this resident of Huara had never witnessed such an outburst of violence. <laughs> نزلوا مستوطنين اول شيء بلشوا تكسير شبابيك فحكينا طبيعي انه كل مره بكسر في الشبابيك ما بقدر احدد لك بس انه ملان كثير مش شوي وبالفيديوهات ببينوا كولياتهم طبعا بحمايه الجيش الجيش بحمي فيهم كان رايح جاي على بينهم وعادي يعني هاي الساحه والميدان هم اللي بدكم اياه Hawara is the epicenter of a territorial and religious conflict in the heart of the West Bank Hills On one side is Nablus, the second largest city in the Palestinian Authority, with a population of 150,000, mainly Muslim. On the other, a handful of Israeli settlements, home to tens of thousands of Jews, imbued with the ideology of Greater Israel. Like Nomi and her husband, who do not understand the powerlessness of their army to stop the attacks. <laughs> לנסות יותר, והוא לא מנסה מספיק. בסוף אנחנו כל כך הרבה יותר חזקים, אז אה, אה, כאילו זה, זה מין ערבוב כזה, כי יש לנו את הטנק ויש לנו את היכולת, אבל הם יכולים לראות בנו, בכפר, ולברוח. Yet the Israeli army is constantly conducting raids against armed Palestinian groups. They hunt them down in their strongholds, refugee neighborhoods in the north of the West Bank, such as Balata, or in the old town of Nablus. The IDF uses undercover agents to enter this area, which is now off limits to tourists because of the lion's den fighters. Filmed by surveillance cameras, these soldiers disguised as Palestinian civilians, men and women, managed to make their way through the narrow streets of the old town without arousing suspicion. They were joined by another team, this time disguised as refuse collectors. The commando ended up on a rooftop in the district. صاروا يرفعوا بعض عن من خلال هذا التانك طلعوا على السطح هذا تم تغيير ملابسهم العربية وارتدوا ملابس عسكرية وتم وضع الخوض على رؤوسهم. During this operation, the Israeli army shot dead three militants from the lion's den, including this woman's brother, Soila Dood. He has finally got what he wanted, to be a martyr. 
He always said, the other mercers, I want to be a mercer like the others. <laughs> Two of the three men shot dead were responsible for the deaths of three Israeli women on a West Bank road. The third had hidden them in this house for four weeks until the soldiers burst in. Here there was a holy Quran. He was reading Quran. Look, they live here in an empty house. They have just only two mattresses to sleep on. This is one and this is the other. They were shot by rockets, by the cowards. The Jews are cowards. They were, they were shilling them from here. They killed Siklars, but they were revenging for other people. They were revenging for other people. Now the Jews start and Arin al usud take a revenge. This is war, this is war. You killed me and I killed you. We said that we could live with them, but they didn't want that. They want us to be people without land. They, they need the land. They need the land. They said that the land is for them. We don't have a right to live here. And we believe that this is our home. A fierce struggle for land, for every hill in the West Bank. To encourage their government to speed up settlement, the Hilltop Youth are building more and more settlements in the middle of Palestinian areas, setting up tiny outposts at strategic points. These are illegal camps that are regularly destroyed by the Israeli army. This kind of intervention does not impress the hilltop youth. As soon as the army leaves, they rebuild their outpost, stone by stone. With their flocks of sheep and their inadequate buildings, the hilltop youth intend to occupy the land and hinder the development of the surrounding Palestinian localities. ואנחנו מתחילים מפה, מלשלוט על השטחים ביהודה ושומרון. חזרנו לפה אחרי אלפיים שנות גלות, אז... The Hilltop Youth receive support from local adults. Before dark, these women come to bring them food and blankets. הנה, בואו תפסו את זה. כרית, שיהיה לכם גם נוח חוץ מזה. Through persistence, the hilltop youth generally end up obtaining the legalization of their outposts. As pioneers of the colonization movement, these women know this well. הם יהיו בעוד 40 שנה, 400 משפחות. ככה, אחי, זה היה עוד שלב. והם תופסים עוד גבעה ועוד גבעה ועוד גבעה, וככה הערבים, שהיא לא אומרת שהערבים לא יכולים להיות פה בארץ. הלוואי שהקדוש ברוך הוא יעשה משהו שיעופו, אבל נגיד שהם פה. אבל גם אנחנו פה, זה קודם כל הארץ שלנו. 
In this war in the hills, religion and nationalism are inextricably intertwined. It's a conflict in the shadow of the biblical patriarchs. It's nearly one o'clock in the morning, and thousands of Israelis, Orthodox Jews, are converging on Nablus. In armored buses, they travel to the Palestinian city to visit Joseph's tomb. The buses and Tanablus escorted by an army vehicle. Armored vehicles line the route. The city has been placed under curfew. Throughout the night, pilgrims march to Joseph's tomb to pray and dance. The hilltop youth provide the security. For this generation, these brief nocturnal incursions under military protection are unsatisfactory. One day, they will have to conquer Joseph's tomb. <laughs> The War of the Hills continues in the Holy City. This May, the Israelis are celebrating the conquest and annexation of East Jerusalem in 1967. This was the occasion for a show of force by the nationalist youth, who marched through the Arab quarter of the old city alongside Itamar Ben-Gvir, the inflammatory far-right minister. <laughs> for fear of violence, Palestinian shopkeepers closed their shops. The police blocked off the streets of the Arab quarter and kept demonstrators at a safe distance. It was strictly forbidden to display a Palestinian national symbol. They don't want to hear our voice. Even, you see, if you see, they want to control the city. And to tell the world, it's theirs, it's their uh, capital. But if they have the rule, they don't need this weapon and three thousand soldiers to protect the, ma the marching from us, we have no weapon. We just saying that we are here. We are from Jerusalem, we are Palestinian, we need to stay here and we will never live here. Escorted by the Israeli police, the most fanatical ones went up to the esplanade of the mosques, the Temple Mount of the Jews. Once again, the hilltop youth were on the front line a militant act to demand the rebuilding of the Temple of Jerusalem in place of the Dome of the Rock. A historic figure among the hilltop youth, Raphael Morris was in the vanguard of the fight to rebuild the Temple of Jerusalem.
או שהפוך, או שהאדמה היא לא שלנו, ולכן אין לנו זכות לבנות לא ביהודה ושומרון, ולא לנותי הר הבית. הממשלה לדורותיה תמיד מסתירה את מה שהיא רוצה או חוששת לעשות, ותמיד צועדים במקום. וכן, אני חושב שכדי להגיע, לפתור את הסכסוך הזה, שנמשך כבר למעלה מאה שנה, כן, אנחנו צריכים להגיד את האמת, ולפעול להגיע לשם. וכן, אנחנו פה כדי להקים מדינה יהודית, אנחנו פה כדי לבנות את המקדש, אנחנו פה כדי להיות בכל ארץ ישראל ובכל יהודה ושומרון. וזאת המטרה, ולשם אנחנו שואפים. Who will win the war in the hills? In Hawara, armed militants and isolated individuals carry out anti-Israeli attacks almost every week. With each attack, the hilltop youth defy the soldiers to demand more repression. <laughs> זה לא נכון מה שעושים היום בשכם ומחסבים שם מחבלים, זה לא מספיק. זה להוציא, לא יודע, להוציא קוץ, להוציא קוץ, להוציא סאבריס מפרצטה, מה זה? זה שטויות, זה לא... אנחנו רוצים משהו שכן, משהו עולם, לא סתם שטויות, רוצים משהו גדול. The authorities are building a road around Hawara to make it safer to travel to the settlements in the Nablus Heights. A few kilometers away in Kafra Kadum, Every Friday after prayers, a handful of notables demonstrate against the Israeli army. A few young people throw stones at the soldiers. Young and old alike have few illusions about the Palestinians' ability to stand up to Israel military, nor in the resumption of the peace process along the lines of the Oslo Accords, signed almost 30 years ago. إنه يبني تكتلات استيطانية صغيرة بين المستعمرات المقامة أصلاً على أراضي المحتلة عام 1967 علشان يفصل جنوب الضفة الغربية عن وسط الضفة الغربية ووسط الضفة الغربية عن شمال الضفة الغربية مش بس هيك هو الآن في شمال الضفة الغربية يعمل على فصل نابلس عن جنين عن طول كريم عن قبقيلي عن طوباس يعني باختصار ما في ما في أي أمل سياسي لتحقيق رؤية العالم بإقامة دولة مستقلة قابل للحياة متواصل جغرافيا على الحدود المحتلة عام 1967. After the demonstration, the children dress up as fighters and play at the hill war. A new generation preparing to enter the never-ending spiral of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict.